District 22 Republican Congressman Devin Nunes is joining us live now via the telephone from his home in Tulare. Congressman, thank you for joining us. Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, they say the president learned his lesson and caved. Do you think the president caved? How would you characterize what happened today? Well, I think it's unfortunate, uh, really. Uh, that we had to go this long before we got to this point. What we're really lacking here is a, is a broad solution for immigration. So there needs to be a border wall. There needs to be expanded border security. We need to have a program for the people that are here, whether you're DACA or if you're working and have a job. Uh, and it's something that has, has just uh, got past Congress for many, many years, and it just needs to get finished. Congressman, Democrats say they will not approve not even a penny for the border wall in the spending bill. Do you see that changing before February 15th? If so, will Trump receive all $5.7 billion for the wall? Well, I'm actually very pessimistic that uh, they'll allocate any money for the wall. We are going to go to conference. So over the course of the next three weeks, what that means is finally House and Senate will sit down at the table together. If that doesn't happen, then what I, what I foresee happening, which would be unfortunate, uh, would be the president would probably declare an emergency and the military would start construction of the border wall. So if that happens, really nobody wins, because at the end of the day, we need a comprehensive solution. If he does, in fact, declare that national emergency, do you think that would be in conjunction with another possible shutdown? What's the likelihood we could see this happen again? It's possible. I don't know how likely it is, but it, but it is possible. But, you know, we won't know until you, you begin to watch the negotiations and see if people are actually going to the table in good faith, because it would be great. I mean, just think about it. If we could get DACA done, get some type of permit system in, in place, uh, start getting rid of the bad people that are here in the valley. I mean, we were just, as, as I think you guys are well aware, uh, we had someone who was deported twice, shot and killed three people in Tulare County. Uh, this person was in custody two days prior. Uh, you know, we need to get the bad people out, and we need the people that are here that are willing to work or are brought as young people. We need a solution for that challenge. Congressman, lastly, in retrospect here, if what the deal was today, could the president have signed the deal that was signed today 35 days ago? Probably, but uh, you know, in the meantime, the president uh, felt like he needed to go out and make his case to the American people, uh, which he did on a daily basis. Uh, and I always tell people, this is, not, this is somebody who is a businessman from New York. He's not going to conduct business the way that Congress has had in the past. And look, let's, let's face it. No one has been able to solve immigration. George W. Bush wanted to get something done, wasn't able to. Barack Obama had 60 Democratic votes in the Senate. They had the control of the House. People forget about this. All they did was have a field here or have a hearing where Stephen Colbert showed up and made fun of farm workers. So they didn't even have a bill. And then now Donald Trump has said, look, I'm willing to solve this problem, uh, but yet we weren't able to come up with a solution last Congress either. So now the Democrats control the House, Republicans control the Senate. Uh, the president really wants to get this done. Maybe this is the right time. All right, let's hope this is a very productive three weeks. Congressman Devin Nunes, thank you so much for joining us tonight. We sure do appreciate it. And